In this video, we'll make a quick run through to some of the most important copywriting principles that uh, we learned in the copywriting course. And for those of you who have not seen the course, I highly recommend you do see it before you start creating ads because these principles will save you lots of uh, wasted money and will help you improve your performance dramatically. For those of you who have seen the copywriting and content marketing course, uh, you should still watch that video because we'll do a very quick run through of the copywriting principles that actually apply to Facebook ads specifically, uh, which is going to be very useful. So here are the important copywriting principles for Facebook ads. And as you know, we have discussed all of them uh, in details already, so we won't pay too much attention of them to, to them. So first of all, the most important one on social media is the AIDA formula. You should make sure that every single one of your ads follows the AIDA formula. It's just kind of very, very fundamental to how social media uh, ads work and you should try and apply it every single time. And in fact, uh, in the next video, I'll show you a kind of um, make sense check that uses the AIDA formula and some additional social things uh, that you need to consider. Second, and uh, second, but probably even more important is the scientific method. So with Facebook ads, you are often going to be testing and testing and testing all over again, many, many different things. So we'll be testing different ad copies, different images, different audiences, different placements, different offers, different landing pages, many different things. So uh, remember to always go scientifically about it and to have a, a theory behind what you're doing, a hypothesis. And so the idea behind testing um, specifically with ads is to test one variable at a time. If you change everything, you can say if A or B is better, but you can't tell why. But if you change just a few things and kind of keep the rest the same, or just if you change one thing and keep everything else the same, you would know if that one thing that you changed made things better or worse. That's why when uh, testing and kind of trying to figure out what are the best options to use with uh, Facebook's platform and what are the best copies and best images, we try to keep everything the same and then just change one thing. So for example, we would have the same audience and we would run five different ads uh, to see which one is better. Or, and then when we figure out which ad is better, then we could test uh, different ad formats for the same creative. And then in this way, we would figure out which ad format works best for this specific niche or this specific industry or this specific audience. So always keep testing one thing at a time to make sure that you understand and you are scientifically moving forward. Now, uh, next is uh, a few of the emotional principles that we learned in the copywriting uh, course, and namely the angels and the devils cocktail apply very heavily to social media because they um, spark uh, strong emotions that get people to react. So, um, Definitely, uh, especially when going for engagement objectives, like if you want to, people to react, to like, comment, share uh, your posts, uh, the, the angels and devils cocktails are very, very strong. I'm not going to go over them again. You should see them in the copywriting and content marketing course if you haven't. Um, and also with social media ads, urgency and scarcity does work as well um, because people are not on social media to see your ads, they're there to, to socialize with their friends, to look at cats uh, and so on. And so uh, when something is actually urgent, that's a good reason for them to leave Facebook and come to your website. And uh, the fear of missing out is indeed a powerful force, uh, especially on social media. Now, uh, the next one is the KISS principle, because um, especially for some of the formats, um, it's very important for you to keep things simple. And, and that's why we are going to be doing a, a simplicity and a kind of a make sense check at the end uh, of each ad so that we can see if it actually uh, makes 
uh, sense. And um, the KISS principle is one that you should always consider with your ads as well. Finally, um, I think the one that really helps you uh, get, get the best performance out of your ads on Facebook is Occam's Razor. So the simplest solution is most likely the right one. Um, have in mind that especially when you have cold audiences um, on Facebook, those audiences would be very broad in order for them to work in the first place. This means that you will be targeting a huge number of people that are very, very, very different. And this means that uh, applying uh, Occam's razor thinking and kind of this principle to all of your ads and trying to make them as simple as possible uh, is going to be most likely the right uh, solution for you. Uh, and so uh, try to go with simple explanations, simple demonstrations, and try to keep it at a very, very uh, low complexity level uh, to get the most out of your uh, Facebook ads. Now, again, on social media, you have uh, the opportunity to show uh, the outcome of, of your uh, product or service. And instead of talking about how good you are or how you compare to others, it's always best uh, to show, almost always best to show uh, the benefit that your users get from um, your product or service. So instead of talking about features and megabytes and gigabytes and, and, and um, kind of technical specifications, talk about what people get out of your product or service. And to do that, remember to apply the so what formula several times to turn features into benefits. And here, just to make a quick example again, instead of saying you get one gigabyte of storage or 100 gigabytes of storage for the new iPods, uh, then when you say so what, well, with the 100 gigabytes, you can have your entire music collection on your uh, device and you can instantly access and enjoy it. Now that's kind of the, the so what uh, question kind of helps you get to the actual benefits uh, of your product and service. Now, um, with social ads, there's also a cool way to add social trust. There's two ways in which we do that. The first one is just by uh, by using the dark posts and the engagement hacking that I showed you before. And um, this way you build the trust inside of the ad itself. So you can have a completely separate ad. It does not need to, the ad itself does not need to build the trust, but the engagement of that very ad is going to build that trust and kind of provide it uh, because a lot of people already like it, share it, comment it, and talk about it. Um, best if that engagement is real, actually. It, it, it does matter if people actually read the comments that they would see. Uh, but uh, engagement hacking does work because uh, these comments that are not very relevant are almost always hidden by Facebook. And so the, the ones that really do matter pop up on top and people actually tend to read them. Uh, so engagement hacking still does work. And um, you can also use uh, social ads to build that trust in the later stages of the customer journey. You know, in the consideration phase, you can, for example, remarket testimonials or um, or any of your achievements, awards, or anything, any other trust factors you can use with your uh, remarketing or retargeting campaigns to um, enhance. Uh, the customer journey and uh, kind of additionally convince the customers to uh, purchase your products or services. And finally, with uh, social ads, you have the ability to show um, the result or the outcome of your product in serv or service instead of telling it or explaining it, which is much uh, easier. And uh, of course, I'll be showing you examples in the next uh, few sections when we uh, actually start creating the ads. Uh, so for now, uh, all you need to do is just remember these uh, principles and um, we'll move on to uh, talking about the different uh, ad formats one by one.